Hey guys, we just walked down from that area that we're right up there where I'm pointing the camera at, and we're at the back end of the uh, Great Geauga Fair here in the uh, Natural Wildlife Park District area. I'm panning around the lake here. This is a little fishing they got for children, their parents, and stuff like that, I guess. We're down here for um, the Labrador uh, a Retriever um, competition they're going to have here about 2 o'clock, which will be about half hour from now when I'm taking this video. Back there you can see that's the campgrounds for the people that come here with uh, to work the fair, uh, their livestock, put to show their livestock and the horse racing and all that kind of stuff. And right down here at the end at the Wildlife Center and Ducks Unlimited. Ducks Unlimited I, I believe sponsors um, the lab competition. Hope everybody's having a great weekend. Stay hydrated because it's hot today. Bye. Month old male yellow Labrador Retriever. He already holds his junior hunter title. That's no small accomplishment. And he's going to compete in the senior hunter trial this coming fall. And I think Benji and Pal are going to do a, a double. Right. With a, with a distraction. This is really cool. We're going to have one come in from the east side of the pond. And we have a duck in the water. Here comes number two. But properly, Pal's going to mark both of those. It's going to retrieve the one that Benji has instructed him to. Now bear in mind, this dog is only 11 months old. Not even a teenager in dog years. Look at the speed in which he dog paddles. Definitely have stamina. Hey everybody, look at me, look what I got. <laughs> saw there was a distraction. A less disciplined dog would have gone after that without having been instructed to, but this is a very disciplined dog. Again, remarkable for his age. Nicely done. Nicely done. Let's give a big round of applause for Pal as Edward and Jeep Larchek. Very Good nicely done. Love the name, too. Reminds me of sixth grade Ohio history. To come, sir.
nine years old. Now here's the thing about this team you're seeing right now. Uh, Bruce does not normally handle Tecumseh. Had not handled Tecumseh since last fall. Did a little bit of training this morning. But this is an exceptional dog. We'll, uh, I think he'll do fun. Couldn't see the bird. Western horsemanship and barrel Okay, a white bird if you can. There you go. You gotta get it out. Oh, yeah, chuck it further out there from the west. There we go. Nicely done. Yeah, I did catch that first one. The work that our kids have done with their animals and show that they truly are very versatile. So please be sure to come back and have an hour. There goes the cup, sir. And the kids really work hard to get to this. We still have to get that one on the left. It's exactly the one he's going for. Judy Meyer just explained to me that sending the dog on the second bird uh, is referred to as calling the first one the memory bird. In other words, the dog remembers seeing that first one fall and kind of notes it in the back of its mind. So don't believe what they tell you about a dog's short attention span. He knows he's got to go back and get that other one. Here we go. And you know, his entry is a little bit different from some of the other dogs you've seen. He enters the water like maybe I would enter the water on a day like today. It's actually right. Michelle Reed just pointed out it's a safer entry for sure. And I suppose, Michelle, if you're in an area, you don't know all you know, every time, what's in the water. Sure, yeah. Could be beavers at a feed bed. It could be sticks poking up from the bottom. That's an excellent point. Let's give a big round of applause to Bruce Rankey and his dog Tickumsaw.